get to the beach. These famous faces would definitely help you make it through the end of days. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities you'd want at your side in a zombie apocalypse. For this list, we've taken a look at the celebrities that are alive and well today, and ranked those that would be most useful in a fight against the living dead. <laughs> Don't look, Eddie! Finish the passages! Get rid of it! Number 10, Stone Cold Steve Austin. These hangers are on, it should be on a pigeon, damn it! Oh, I guess you've never planted a few smacks on there, Ross! Pro wrestling's iconic anti-hero, Steve Austin could trash talk anyone into an early grave. And he could throw a stone cold stunner that'll get any zombie back into theirs. Give the Texas rattlesnake a beer or two, and he'll be cruising for a bruising, which means the zombies would hopefully be focusing on him instead of us. Watch it, It's easy to imagine the 316 whooping ample undead ass, leaving you to relax ringside. The apocalypse ain't got nothing on this guy, and that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so. And that's the bottom line cause Stone Cold said so. Number 9. Michael Cera. Thank you. That ain't a Thanks. problem. You oh. Why on earth would you want an actor famous for playing emotionally and socially awkward characters on your team? I should go to my mom tonight and be like, I met the cutest guy, and then she'll see you and me totally making out. <laughs> Two words, zombie fodder. Michael Sarah is your second chance card. If you are ever cornered by a zombie looking for fresh flesh, then Sarah is the guy to turn to. These eyes are crying. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another one like I have with you. <laughs> He'd either start singing in a bid to soothe the bloodlust, or else he'd serve as a sacrificial lamb. Kid, you're asking for trouble. Just don't. Just don't. Well, what are you gonna do? Shoot me with your gun? Okay, okay, Lance, okay, okay, okay. There's no doubting Sarah's acting ability, but someone's gotta be the bargaining chip, and it's not gonna be you. Oh! Oh, What's happening to me? What's happening? Oh, oh, oh my god! god. Oh. Number eight. Emma Stone. You need some help? No, that you mentioned it. We'll take your weapons, your car keys, your ammunition. If her performance in Zombieland is anything to go by, then Emma Stone knows how to handle herself when it comes to surviving an apocalypse. As Wichita, she took full command amid outrageous violence, proving seriously skilled with a variety of weapons. I'm Jerry. Say, Jerry, I bet you got a ducky war story behind that lighter. Yeah, sure, I got stories. In Gangster Squad, she shone as an especially dangerous femme fatale, and on top of everything else, she's funny as hell. Don't just stop! I'm not gonna stop! I'm not gonna stop! Now you try this. I'm gonna turn you around and take you from the back! A good joke goes a long way when you see zombies everywhere you turn. You know, I would have gone with something, you know, at least like mildly entertaining, you know, like 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 family jewels. Like nuts. Yeah, that's funny. That's a <laughs> funny joke. Number seven, Elon Musk. You people have called you the real Tony Stark. Okay, you've got your finger in so many different advanced technologies. Behind every successful zombie survival bid, there's at least one brilliant brain. Elon Musk could bring that brain. The mind behind electric auto firm Tesla Motors. He's also CEO of SpaceX, a space transport company. With Musk on your side, you'll end up evading zombies in some sort of renewably powered silent stealth machine. And these are active all the time, and it's just a standard feature in the car. He's so clever, he'd likely locate a cure for zombie bites in no time. And if all else fails, he'd fly you off of Earth entirely, and land you on the moon for a zombie-free life. Which will preserve the future of humanity in the event of a calamity on, on Earth. Number six, Martha Stewart. And so this is what, look, Julia, this is the object. Look. Oh, look, oh, look at that. You're making a wreath. An undisputed domestic goddess, 
Martha Stewart could probably cook or craft her way out of most tricky situations. This is an odd dish because you'll never believe you can cook pasta in so little water with all the other ingredients. Even when there seems to be nothing to eat, she'd still be able to focus on making some kind of salad. Tastes really, really good. Japanese salad, it's a good thing. A potential mother hen character in general, she'd likely have a sterner side as well, given that she's done time in prison. Martha Stewart is being prosecuted not because of who she is, but because of what she did. Locked away for fraud from October 2004 until March 2005, she's a tough cookie who knows how to make cookies. What more could you want? Well, audience, you're all getting a cookie to taste and let us know. Number five, Shia LaBeouf. Hollywood superstar Shia LaBeouf. The wild card that every good zombie survival squad needs, Shia LaBeouf could derail the whole entire operation. But he could prove an incomparable asset as well. <laughs> yeah. It's well publicized that the Transformers actor is sometimes a little crazy. But contain that craziness and unleash it on an unsuspecting zombie, and they'll definitely be dazed and probably confused. We're survivors. We control the fear. And without the fear, we are all as good as dead. If LaBeouf is a liability, then he's prime zombie bait. Either way, you'd want to take him with you. Just do it. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Number four, Jennifer Lawrence. As Katniss Everdeen, she won the 74th Hunger Games and survived the third quarter quell. She's the girl on fire, the mockingjay, and the face of the rebellion. Her credentials as an apocalypse buddy are incredible. Off screen as well. Jennifer Lawrence seems like she could handle herself. She's a straight talker and can be seriously funny, which is always good for morale. And then my friend walked by and I grabbed her and I was like, oh, this is Elizabeth Taylor! And she was like, no, it's not. <laughs> if she's anything like her Everdeen character, though, then she's an effective, if reluctant, leader. With her, the odds are ever in your favor. Fire is catching. And if we burn, you burn with us! Number three, Ken Jeong. I was a general practitioner, GP! <laughs> when you spend your days running from a flesh-eating horde, you're gonna need a medic. No one in the world of celebrity is more qualified to fill that role than Ken Jeong. I don't know if you guys even see me as human anymore. I don't know if it's like a joke to you, like all Asian men like a joke if it's like a no. racial thing. No, no. A star of the TV sitcom Community, and known as the crowbar-wielding naked gangster in the Hangover series. He's also a licensed physician in the state of California. I just woke you up to tell you that before I was in movies like Hangover knocked up role models in some other movies, I used to be a real doctor. Even the most efficient zombie hunter is likely to suffer one or two wounds. So Dr. Ken would be indispensable. Oh man, all these patients want to do is talk about my show. Number two, Bear Grylls. Look at this. And this guy's probably, probably a couple of years old. When it comes to survival, this Brit knows his stuff. He has conquered Everest, crossed the North Atlantic, and he's the face of Man vs. Wild, which is effectively a how-to guide for a zombie invasion. Okay. And that's him. That's him dead. Grills proves time and again that even in the most hopeless and inhospitable situations, survival is just a state of mind. We almost included Ed Stafford here, but Grills gets the nod because not only could he kill zombies, he'd have 101 uses for a zombie carcass as well. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze, but that is the ultimate seal skin wetsuit. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ah! 
Number one, Dwayne Johnson. If you smell what the rock is also known as The Rock and The Scorpion King, with Dwayne Johnson at your side, there'd be nothing to fear. In fact, the apocalypse might even be enjoyable. The Rock looked out. Stacy up in trouble. Rock bottom! Rock bottom! Rock bottom! There can't be many things more satisfying than rock bottoming zombies back into the ground from whence they came. Or people's elbowing their heads off. Here it comes! Another people's elbow! Yes! What do you gotta do to beat this guy? And on top of the obvious physical advantages, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment seems like a really good guy. The zombies won't like it, but that doesn't matter. Do you agree with our list? I still a bit left. Which celeb would you want? For more zombie hunting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You're a super villain. <laughs> That's what a super villain does. Yeah.